So, here is an inductive definition. I have the first term, u1 is 3, and I have the recurrence relation, the way to get to the next term, un plus 1 is 2un minus 3. Now let's see what sequence this generates. So if I put u1 is 3 into this, then u2 is 2 lots of u1 take away 3. So 6 take away 3 is 3. So u3 is 2 lots of 3 take away 3, which is 3. And so on and so forth. And so this generates the sequence 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, and on forever. So it generates what is known as a constant sequence, a sequence that is unchanging. Now, that's all well and good, okay, so that must mean that there is a way uh, to generate a constant sequence. Is there a way of determining what, which value, which starting value, will get me to a constant sequence? Well, actually, yes, there is, because if um, I said to myself, right, well, actually, if I think of this as a function machine, then what I'm doing is I'm putting values in to my function machine that multiplies the value by 2 and then subtracts 3, and I get a value out. You may have remembered doing these back in, um, back in primary school, for example, when we used to put funny eyes on them, and we might put some hands. Okay, if we really go back to primary school. So, the function is multiplying by 2 and taking away 3. Okay, right, well, then I'm going to put that number back in. and so on and so forth. And I'm going to keep on putting that number in to that function machine over and over and over and over again. And what happens is that I just generate the same sequence. So the number I'm putting in is exactly the same as the number I'm getting out. Which means that if that's true, I could just replace the letter, uh, the un plus 1 and the un, with l. I put in l, I get out L. So if I do that, if I replace the UN plus 1 with L and I replace the UN with L, so the number I'm putting in is the same as the number I'm getting out, then I now have an equation that I can solve. So if I take L from both sides and add 3 to both sides, I get L is 3. So when the number I put in is 3, it generates a constant sequence. Let's look at another example. Okay. So, let's say instead I have, well, I'll keep the same first value. Let's say I've got un over 4 plus 5. Okay? So this is going to generate me a new sequence. So what I actually want is a starting value, sorry, I shouldn't have u1, a starting value that will generate me a constant sequence. And so what I can do is I can say to myself, right, well, if I let the number that I put in to the function be the same as the number I'm, I'm getting out, so L is L over 4 plus 5, so I've replaced the UN with L, and the UN plus 1 with L. Then I can multiply through by 4, so 4L is L plus 20. Take L from both sides, and then divide both sides by 3. So L is 20 over 3. So if I now start my sequence with 20 over 3, let's see what happens. So u1 is 20 over 3, so u2 is 20 over 3 over 4 plus 5. So 20 over 3 divided by 4 plus 5 is 20 over 3. 
So U3 will be exactly the same. And so will U4. And so I have found a way, a starting number, that will generate a constant sequence. Now what we'll find is that some of these sequences will have a limit. And that's what we're going to be looking at in the next video.